So I've just been playing some Sonic Heroes. Um, it was kind of what I expected, and um, I'm undecided whether that's a um, good or a bad thing. Um, yeah, we're gonna get rid of that now. Um, put that back in its case. And the next game um, up in this bitch, Virtua. Pro Football. Now, to me, this just sounds like, um, is it Virtua Soccer? I assume it's called Virtua Soccer. Um, I would reference it against my Dreamcast games. Actually, they're down there. I thought they were somewhere else. Um, uh, there's not one in view. Um, oops. Moving shit around. If I move some shit, I can see uh, Virtuous Striker, that was it, not Virtuous Soccer, Virtuous Striker. So this basically just sounds like Virtuous Striker, fucking hell, dropping shit everywhere, for the PS2, but like remarketed, rebranded, reshuffled, retarded, maybe, I don't know yet. Um, yeah. Been watching some Europa League tonight, so I'm ready for it. On the back it says it's got 250 teams, and it's like, yeah, but are they actually licensed? <laughs> you know what I mean? I doubt it. Well, the English teams, anyway, because FIFA's usually got that all wrapped up. Start game. Yeah, whatever. So, Virtua Striker on the uh, the Dreamcast was a game. Um, I always thought would be a, well, it was pretty solid, nice graphics and shit. But one thing with it for me was um, I couldn't work out if there was any way to kind of sprint. Why has it got like yellow pages? the fuck? Good and good to visit. So it does like the yellow p page, well did, did should I say, the yellow pages sponsor a league in 2006. We've got a kind of anime style going on with the uh, pointless shit. Mm, starter. Yeah. Game options, easy. Okay, there's no difficulty setting. Exhibition, normal start. Oh, why is there a normal start and a quick start? Does that mean this is really drawn out? Auto normal, whatever. Um, oh my god, it's got actual fucking Premier League teams in it. Um, so, just to be annoying, I'm going to, um, I think I'm going to pick uh, Portsmouth, yeah, and I'm going to uh, dedicate this to um, Sean off of Pompey Games Room, and I'm going to make sure I'm picking, pick, well, pick his team some. Bad opposition. So we'll pick Manchester. Not to be confused with Manchester United, just Manchester. They've got to be good. They've got to be like the, the fucking, like a mix between Man City and Man United. You won't want to meet them down a fucking dark alley or even a football pitch. Yeah. You fucking load. Welcome to tonight's game. Oh yes, it must be a Portsmouth at home with a fucking well, stadium a that pathetic. In spite of this awful rain. And the awful terms. Portsmouth versus Manchester. 
exhibition match. The whole of Manchester. And this is Alan Green. That's actually gigs. That's gigs. That's gigs. I don't like gigs, but that's gigs. I wonder if it is actually Man United, but um, because of fucking Japanese idiots that made this game, they don't actually. Portsmouth, take possession. He plays it wide. Um, so we can actually sprint, we can use our one to sprint. Yeah, I, I wonder if it's just crazy Japanese people that don't realise that there is actually two teams in Manchester. I, mean, I think this, well I'm guessing this was before Man City got re-promoted to the, uh, the Premier League. Yeah, Mum will pick it up and run with it, dickhead. What the fuck is that that the fans are singing? How do we fucking... Crosses it. Gets his head to it. How on earth did he miss that? Rooney, yeah. This is definitely Man United with all the fucking players and shit. That's why they, they call fucking Man... just Manchester. It's so crazy. Mendes. Intercepted. Ronaldo. Ooh, Ronaldo. Fucking Good dickhead. Man. Try and fucking break his legs. What a lethal shot that was. He's not taking prisoners today. Right. They are always strong down on that right hand side. How well they do there is going to be key. It's an interesting game this, so it doesn't seem that bad for the uh I say time but I guess it's PS2 era, so maybe this would have been top shit on the uh, the Dreamcast, but um, maybe a bit mediocre given the FIFA Pro Evo titles that would have been available on the uh, PS2 at the time. The presentation isn't, isn't amazing, to be honest. The players look a bit minuscule. Um, no, it seems like it's kind of lacking and the detail that it stretched. could have had. Now who's going to pick this up and run with it? Your fucking mum, I told you. Portsmouth are really keeping the pressure on in midfield. Now who's going to pick this up and run with it? Come on, come on, come on. Oh, for it's fuck's anybody. sake. Up the ball. What the fuck was that shoe? I thought that was cross. Maybe that's where I'm going wrong. The controls are back. Yeah, the controls are backwards to what FIFA are nowadays. I mean, you just assume that FIFA is standard, but you, you, you forget. You forget that there's, there's other games out there. That's well read by the defender. And that's what happens when you kick the ball out of play. Patrice Evra, what a little throw. fucking throw wanker. Up. Hey, that come. Here's the throw. This is good. <laughs> Too easy for the ball. So it's interesting that it's got all the fucking real names and teams, but, well, I assume all of them. Well, Premier League anyway, but. Yeah. Yeah, the here comes the corner. What's the still the fucked it up, basically. The they could have had a FIFA rival, possibly. You know, based solely on the fact that it's got real players like Ruud van Nisselwank. But they fucked it up. They couldn't even get the fucking team name right. Manchester. It's Manchester United. There's two fucking teams in Manchester. My fucking god. Can still get back into this as long as they don't panic. Now who's gonna pick this up? up of biblical fucking proportions. Football forward now. No trouble for the keeper. I mean what what's actually um shocking about this game. I mean, I, I am 
just like guessing that this was a pretty kind of lesser known game um, than say obviously the FIFA Pro Evos at the time but they clearly had a license of sorts a license of sorts and the fucking oh, license of sorts and they just fucked up the fucking team names which just takes away all credibility in my opinion and also it doesn't seem like you can actually fucking sprint past people I can see why this game is forgotten and probably never known delivering an awesome shot and the commentary is fucking irritating and terrible. Portsmouth need to get back into this straight away. He plays it wide. I mean, oh fucking hell, it's fucking dog shit. I don't know, is it dog shit or is it awesome? Being a bit predictable here, going through the middle. Yeah, just the sprint is fucking useless. There's not really any analog control either. There's just like eight. Eight directions that you can move in. So, I mean, football games have been like that for a long time. You've only got, you know, eight axis, four axis, two axis, whatever of movement. What a great goal! And they're going to feel very pleased with themselves going in ahead at the break. Portsmouth. And still get back into this game, but it's to me, incredible. this game would be more credible if it was just Easy. called Virtuous Striker. Uh, but Portsmouth. the game and says to me, um, and he fires that, one upfield. that they're just trying too hard, you know, trying to have the number one soccer game, football game, should I say, I'm actually English, so I'll just say football. Um, but yeah, it, it kind of says to me by the rebranding, I mean I assume this is more Virtua Striker than Worldwide Soccer. You know, that says to me that they were trying to have the penultimate, well, well no, the ultimate football game. But it's just not. If, it, if this game was called Virtua Striker, I'd have a lot more time for it, but it's not. It's called Virtua Pro Football, and from what I can tell, it's just mediocre. And in football games, when it comes to football games, if it's mediocre, it's just fucking rubbish. You know, it's not worth bothering with. There's no deep, you know, there's not a story to a football game, so if it's a shit football game, it's a shit game. No reason to play it, you know what I mean? It's simple as that in my opinion.